Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with recent updates to Windows 11, as I have been talking about in update videos I have posted, most of the so-called new features are rolling out only for Copilot Plus PCs with just a small amount making their way into the so-called normal version of Windows 11. And in this regard, if we just have a look at the last video I posted for Windows 11 24H2, which was a day or so ago, where the latest optional update is now in final preview with 24 new features. And most of those new features, guess what, as mentioned in the video, which will be linked, are only rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs. So it seems that Microsoft is kind of setting the blueprint, for want of a better word, of how they are going to navigate things moving forward now with Windows 11. Because I have said in numerous videos recently that Microsoft's focus now is pushing Copilot Plus PCs. And Microsoft is even encouraging Windows 10 users who cannot upgrade to Windows 11 to go out and buy a new Copilot Plus PC, which I think is a bit cheeky. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, obviously, because we are talking about Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft is pushing a lot of AR when it comes to new features, which is basically what is the Copilot Plus PC is made up out of when it comes to services and components. And why I'm mentioning this is because if we head to the latest paint snipping tool and notepad updates with new features beginning to roll out to Windows Insiders in the Canary and the Dev Channels, and this was rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 22nd of May. Microsoft is rolling out these features only for Copilot Plus PCs. There's one feature which will be rolling out to so-called normal PCs, which we'll have a quick look at shortly. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, which will also be linked, Windows 11 25H2 is possibly coming later this year as our annual feature update for this year. 24H2 was last year's, 25H2 this year. And Microsoft may have leaked the possible build number. Go check the video out for more info. Which was discovered within system files of recent Windows 11 Insider Preview builds in the Canary and the Dev channels. So no surprise that Microsoft is rolling out new app updates and features only for Copilot Plus PCs because here we get sticker generation for paint, object select for paint, and guess what? Sticker generator and object select will only be available on Copilot Plus PCs. And the only feature so-called normal users of paint on non-Copilot Plus PCs will get is a new welcome experience in Paint designed to help users discover and learn about the app's latest and most useful features. So out of the three features rolling out to Paint, normal PCs are going to get one which is a little welcome experience. Heading on to Snipping Tool, guess what? All these features, perfect screenshot in Snipping Tool will be available only on Copilot Plus PCs. And if you just head down to the last one, Notepad, which is getting a nice rewrite update, guess what? To use Write, you need to sign in with your Microsoft account. Microsoft 365 Personal, Family, Enterprise, and Copilot Pro subscribers will be able to use AI credits to use Write in Notepad. So very specific, not rolling out for so-called normal PCs. So you get the point of what I'm trying to make. Now, this pushing out new AR features to only Copilot Plus PCs was something we spoke about a year or so ago when there were a lot of rumors doing the rounds that Windows 12 would be rolling out at the end of 2024, which ended up being Windows 11 24H2 because Microsoft had a bit of a managerial shakeup and things changed there a little bit. So I think for Microsoft, they just decided to stick with Windows 11. 
So obviously now with that shakeup and that change and still focusing on Windows 11, Microsoft introduced Copilot Plus PCs, which obviously more the minority than the majority have got at this stage, which is their main focus, as mentioned earlier, to get most Windows 11 users onto Copilot Plus PCs. That seems to be the pattern now that Microsoft is focusing on. Mainly AR features are rolling out only to users with Copilot Plus PCs. So it seems that the way forward, as mentioned regarding Windows updates, is that normal PCs, like I currently have, running Windows 11 24H2, and most users running Windows 11 have, are going to be getting kind of subtle new tweaks and adjustments. And most of the so-called AR-powered features we are not going to see in normal so-called PCs. So getting back to the title of this video regarding 25H2, it strongly suggested that the Canary and the Dev channels is where Microsoft is testing our next annual feature update 25H2. And it seems that 25H2 is going to be very AR driven. And it seems that this year's annual feature update is going to be rolling out most of its new features only to Copilot Plus PCs, which may, depending on which side of the fence you're sitting on, may or may not be a good or a bad thing. Obviously, this is not official confirmation by Microsoft, but all signs, as we have spoken about in this video, are pointing in that direction. So once again, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you think? Do you think this is where Microsoft is heading? We'll be interested to know your thoughts. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.